Oh shit, it's time to make a pallet. When you start off making a pallet, first you wanna make a pretty good canvas. Uh, so, uh, when you make a pallet, just f forget about this. There you go. First color you wanna make, always start off with a, with a good yellow. Where's the RGB? Yes. Hue shift to, to more red. Because that's how hue shifting works. Uh, after going to more of a red, you you add a bit more purple. Well, that's that's not dark enough. That's too dark. Yeah, after we after we make the yellow to red uh, ramp, well, we, we gotta save it. Palette. Uh, from the yellow ramp, you can make a really good green ramp. Add a bit more green into it. Add a bit less green into it. Add a bit more saturation. Then you 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 shift a bit more. Just just don't add more green. Add more blue gradually to the green as you you shift it. Uh, now we have a pretty good uh, green ramp. So now we add like a like a really dark purple to the to the red ramp. And from from this color, we can make a pretty pretty decent purple color. So uh, what I like to do is just draw like a line out with the base purple color. Uh, add a bit more yellow to it. Yeah, that's a good color. Then we make like a a brighter version of it. Well, that's that's not how you do it. Uh, you add like a bit more yellow and make it just brighter. Yeah, that that looks kind of nice. Then we just start hue shifting it down. If you don't know what hue shifting is, get good. Uh, so, why is this not working? That's a decent color. Yeah, then, then you just hue shift it more. Uh, so, that doesn't look like a purple ramp because we added a bit too much yellow. Uh, that's easily fixed if you go like this. Uh, and then just add a bit more red. So then, we add like this really nice and juicy color at, at the top of course and then from this we can make a like really good brown ramp there it is that's a good brown color so then we just yeah we just ramp ramp down or how you ever however you call it looks kind of bronzy I, I like it that way that's a nice color ramp I, I should I should change uh, these ones up because they look a bit too uh, like I, I can't explain it Th these ones just look s way smoother than these they're, they're, the saturation differences are way too much so then you just absolutely eviscerate this uh, ramp and then you just yeah just ramp it down that looks pretty nice to be honest just red yeah there it is there we go so uh, once we finish tweaking these ramps, uh, for one second, let me just, uh, there it is. And from this color, you can make a pretty nice blue ramp. And then you just want to, yeah, just hue shift it down to the, the, the closest color to this. Just don't make it too similar to the color. Oh, it looks bad. That's, that's looking nice already. I can see that getting a lot of downloads on low spec. Fuck, that's a, that's that's not a good color. For anyone who doesn't know, Low Spec is a really good website that posts my palettes. I mean, not only my palettes, but my palettes are the best on there, of course. Actually, this blue ramp is so disgusting. I'm not gonna include it. So, uh, from from this brown ramp, I think. Oh fuck, wait, we need the blue ramp. <laughs> Shit, uh, well, I guess I messed up, but let's just remake the blue ramp then. So that looks like a much more pleasant, uh, br br blue ramp. So a after, after that, we just make like a really bright, almost white color. Uh, just don't make it F, F, F white. It's, it won't look good. You just gotta like it do a mix of yellow and blue for for the color so it looks kind of 
kind of like white, but not really. So from this white color, we can make a pretty pleasant uh, gray. I said, I said gray ramp. One second. I said gray. There it is. Uh, so from this, we, we just just make a kind of gray, but add like blue to it. Because if you add blue to gray, that 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 just looks way nicer. And uh, just just a tip, if you're making gray, uh, to make a good gray, like just a perfect gray, you just have to make all the values the same. After we finish the gray ramp, which is like in a minute, oh, at the end of a gray ramp, of course, I like to do like a bit of a of a purple thing, where you just make it like a bit purple. Instead of going to full blue, just like add purple. There it is. Good ramps. Looking good so far. Oh fuck, I've been drawing on the wrong layer. Also in your palace, never use uh, the 000 black. Because it's, it's really bad. It's not a good color. Not pleasant at all. Uh, I'll give it a 1 out of 10. I just realized the purple ramp can be extended a bit. It doesn't look that good right now. So what colors do we need? course we need a good skin color uh, just yeah just make it like this looks very nice just make it more pink the more you can shift it there you go just realized I can make palettes in under an hour so that's a good skin ramp yeah it, pretty much you have a finished palette I think let me just check if I have oh yeah you can make like a variation of the gray, gray ramp let me just move this over uh, it's uh, more of like a stony color. That's it's it's just more of like a stony look to a gray color. So you just make it just just do the same as you did with the with the bluish gray, but just add add yellow instead of blue. Well, that's not getting dark enough. And to fix this, remove the ramp and start over. So uh you can add a bit of red, the closer it gets to to the darkest color. Just so, just to give it that juiciness. Uh, boom. And then, uh, we just reduce the colors, because I just realized we have way too many colors in this ramp. Uh, there we go. That's a, that's a lot of browns in this palette. Alright. I can deal with that. So then we just... Just to make it look nicer, we just move this over here. That's a bit too blue. There we go. Then I just just brighten this up so it matches up with this color being a bit brighter. There we go. That looks like a nice, nice little ramp. And now the palette is done. The last thing is to um, to name it something ridiculous. I'll call it um, Trash Fifty. 51 let's let's add a one color just so I can make it a good rounded a num a number yeah uh, so I think what color should need an extra I think a red needs a color transitioning into yellow so now that we've finished our good color palette we just draw something Oh, a pineapple, of course. <laughs> My favorite. If you don't like a color while drawing with the palette, you just go like, this color pretty bad. I make new. And then you make a new color. Yeah, just adjust the colors as you keep drawing. That's that's why my palettes take so goddamn long to, to make. Over my years of practice, the only thing I've, I've learned to, to draw is a, is a goddamn pineapple. Oh, yeah. Uh, another tip you can do for your palette is select it and then you go uh, create new it, a sprite fills in your stuff when you create a new like it's it's it, it just does the size of what you copied then you oh yeah yeah I should do it by step by step then you you open up this uh, options thing create palette from current sprite and then boom you have a you have your own palette and then uh, save as default palette, then load default palette, and then just delete this black color. If you're 
if you but if you're uh, doing um, the indexed color thing uh, keep the black color because uh, it'll just remove this one color afterwards add a, add a pair of eyes to the pineapple wait will these will this type of eyes fit uni unibrow looking as pineapple uh, then we just add a bit of a shadow uh, to the face then we, uh, caveman pineapple I don't like this green ramp I think I like the base color but I'll just because it, it's not juicy enough after we finish our our re revised uh, green color that looks way juicier then we're done uh, if you want you can just like add some anti-aliasing on the on the pineapple but I mean this isn't a tutorial on how to make a goddamn pineapple this is a tutorial on how to make a palette oh yeah after we make the adjustments you also have to copy it in uh, create palette from sprite again then do this save as default then load default if but if you're uh, using indexed mode wait oh yeah it removes the black background yeah indexed mode uh, takes the first color and just removes it from the palette for some reason so if you're using indexed mode just use the black just add a black color at the start uh, a sprite already does this so if you're using a sprite you don't have to worry about it so yeah pretty much done I mean we can add we can draw a bit more we, like I usually draw like until I fill up this whole entire thing and space well that looks like trash actually it looks like a dick here we have our uh, dick candle yeah I'll draw I'll draw like little ruins or something like uh, start off with like a little round circle wait this this palette has no good dark color well uh let's just let's just make it right now the 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 best dark color is uh a non-black but really close to black dark color like this i i won't add it into the palette because i'm lazy but i'll make the background that color see how nicer it looks without using the black Already looks like a castle though. After you finish this, just add like a couple of shadows and then follow me on Twitter at Pineapp oh no, it's at Pine Tree Pizza. Uh I do commissions, please pay me. And then you're done. Uh ten out of ten. Perfect palette. Hope you enjoyed this video or whatever this is. See y'all probably never.